First, let's look at a data entry form and adding edit records so you can see what you're going to try and create with your REDCap project. To add or edit records, go to Add Edit Records under Data Collection on the left-hand menu. Here, you can select to jump to an incomplete record, a complete record, or you can choose to add a new record. Let's do that now. When you go to add a new record, you'll see the first form in your project. Here, whomever is entering data can simply start typing in the record data. For text forms, they'll enter free form text. On date forms, they can enter in a specific date, or if you have it enabled, just click the Today button. I have a small note here to let me know that this has to be entered in the year, month, day format. You can also have fields validated, so they want numerical answers to be in a particular range. If I try to enter a number outside of that range, it gives me a pop-up telling me that this number is outside of the range. However, because of the possibility of out hires, it will allow me to continue. When I enter a number within the range, it accepts it. Sometimes, you'll have branching logic. This hides fields so that they will not show up unless a participant responds with a particular response. Here, when I answer no to do you like the picture, I am asked to upload my own picture. The participant then could upload a document from their own computer. When I get to the bottom of a record, I can mark it as incomplete, unverified, or complete. If I mark it as incomplete, I know I need to come back to this at a later date. Unverified is primarily used when you are doing some form of double data entry. The classic way to do double data entry is for two people to enter the information independently and a third person to verify the responses. However, you could also do it with one person entering and then another person checking. Whether or not you use double data entry will entirely depend on your own study design and requirements. Finally, I can mark the record as complete. This means that everything has been entered and there's nothing more that needs to be done with it. Let's enter as complete for the moment. If you have certain privileges in the database, you'll be able to lock the record so that no one else can edit it until someone with the appropriate permissions unlocks it. You have three options on how to save your record. You can choose Save Record. This will do exactly what it says and simply save this record. If you choose Save and Continue, then you will go to the next record for this form. If you choose Save and Go to the next form, you will go to the next form for this record. You would use Save and Continue if, for example, you had the first page of information for everyone that you wanted to enter in. And you would use Save and Go to Next Form if you had all the information for just one record that you wanted to enter in. For now, let's click Save. This takes me back to the Add Edit Records page. Over on the side here, you can see a list of all the, all the forms, and you can see which record ID I'm in. If I click on the dots next to the forms, it'll take me to that form for that record, and I can continue filling in the data for that form. REDCap does have some calculated fields that you can include in your databases. When I'm done, I mark the form complete. Because this is the last form in my database, I don't have the Save and Go to Next Form option, but I can simply save the record. Two other features that you have when you're doing data entry are the History and the Comments options. The history option will show all the data that has been entered into that field for that record and when the changes were made. It will also tell you who made the changes. The comments option will allow you to enter comments next to the field. For example, you could explain why you made a particular change to the data in that field or make a note of a problem that you had with data entry.
All the field comments for all records and fields can be viewed, searched, and filtered in the field comment log page on this project. The field comment log page is under Applications on the left-hand menu. Here I can see all comments that have been left for all of my forms. If you want to check the status for a particular record or look at the status for all of your records, you can go to the Record Status Dashboard under Data Collection on the left-hand menu. Here you will get a list of all the record IDs along with your custom record labels, if any, and you can see the status of each record. A record that is incomplete will be marked with a red dot, a record that is unverified will be marked with a yellow dot, and a record that is complete will be marked with a green dot. Because not all projects require double data entry, a handy trick that some people use is to mark a record as unverified to show where a participant dropped out of the study, which distinguishes it from a regular incomplete form. If you want to jump to a particular form for a particular record, all you have to do is click on that dot next to the record, and it will take you to that form. Now you have seen what the forms that you are going to be building will look like in the end, let's go and look at how you create them.